Hello everyone and welcome again for our next video with similar content. Today we will be talking about the content optimizer. This is the most and highly important tool which is the second tool in similar content. We have previously discussed the topic difficulty and we have mentioned how it's beneficial for you as a content writer that enables for you to have an overview regarding the topic difficulty so you should be aware of before starting writing the, the, the content of your article and so on so you have like an overview regarding the difficulty percentage so am I going to be able to know or to write about this article or not am I going to be able to get a high rank in Google or not am I going to have the priority to have the 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 best ranking in Google or not so you have like an overview of ranking predictor but today we have the content optimizer this is the core of your article and this is the most important one it enables you as a content writer to have a lot of benefits firstly with your old content the old content you have wrote before you can reuse it or you can re-optimize your old content with similar content that you can re-optimize it to get the high or the most suitable or correct ranking or relevancy score according to similar content in order to have the priority to rank in Google comparing to other competitors or comparing to the other websites that got the, the best ranking in Google. And also, you can use it for the new content you are creating currently to predict the priority that it's going to get or it's going to rank in Google. Thirdly, you can also spy on the other competitors or those who got high rank in Google previously in their marketing strategy so you have an overview how they did it and what specific words they used to do so so it's beneficial from different sides actually so let's go into it previously we have searched about for example in the topic difficulty we would like to to search about the link building so i have chosen it as an auto and the country's auto and i'm pressing research it gives me here that this is very difficult. It's hard to get a high rank on it because the relevance score or the topic, the topic difficulty is 74.5. That's very hard and it needs a high quality backlinks. Now I have an overview regarding the topic difficulty. So, for example, let me choose like one of those links here and analyze it in Content Optimizer. Actually, in Content Optimizer, you have two options. Firstly, I can, for example, write and activate the writing mode. I mean, for example, I have my own article and I wrote it before and I'll paste it here, for example, like this. I'll press analyze then the relevancy score of this article 31 and it should be 77 so this is one of the examples that you can for example edit and so on and, uh, and add more like for example I can add more some words and so on or you can fetch the link fetch the link that means that for example I'm going to get here and I'm gonna get for example the back link and then copy go to content optimizer press fetch link and then paste it here and press fetch Now you delete like for example the title and other unnecessary words 
and then press Analyze. Now it tells me this is a very, very or well-optimized content and it got 67 in the relevancy score and the target score should be 77. Actually, it's smarter to be from 55 to 70 in the relevancy score if you got so, so you have a good content had the priority to do or to get the high rank in Google. So right now, this is the article we got. So here, I have some specific categories. Firstly, I will have the extremely. Extremely means the overreacted or the overused words that it has been used extremely very much. And the more you use this, the more your relevancy score will go down. So it's not recommended to use it a lot or to extremely mention those words a lot. And the good, that means that the one that you use it in the correct percentage. This is the percentage mentioned in the article. And this is the should be mentioned. So this is 14 and 15. That's close enough. And this is the low. That means it's not mentioned enough. Here it's mentioned in the article 104. And it should be mentioned like 154. So this is like low. So the more you increase the low, the more relevancy score might go up, but not found. This is the one that we should focus on, that those are not found words. It should be mentioned like, for example, 18 times, 10 times, 8 times, 8 times, 8 times, 7 times. So those words you should focus on mentioning, and we will see this in live right now. Once we use some words to edit on this article, does it going to help us to increase the relevancy score or not? And we have here the multi words, the same thing shows for you what words you didn't mention, the low words, and so on. And this is the questions in this chart here. This is it shows for you the question that you should article that your article should contain in order to be having the priority in ranking Google. And here it shows for you your categories or your article is included under which categories like the, for example this it includes under the web search internet technology web search this is how ai or how google understand it through the artificial intelligence we have here the concepts this is the general uh, concept of how google understand your this article that is written here, it understands it as SEO or search engine optimization, page rank, black hat, and world web. Google search, Google and so on. We have here the entities. Entities means the it, it includes all the company names that mention the article, persons, numbers, quantity, and so on. As we have Google, Julie Adams, Matt, Rich Edwards, and so on. And let's get back to the most important tool, which is the core of similar content. It's a keyword ranking predictor. It helps you actually to be able to see the chance to rank and the relevancy score and compare between them. For example, if I would like to rank about link building, choose for me here the chance to rank is 81, but the relevancy score, it's 54. And actually, this is close enough, and this has got high rank in Google. So we have also the link building fundamentals. The relevancy score is 39.3, and the chance to rank that should be like 58. So let's search about it. Go to Google and search. OK, backlinks. It's in the second choice here backlinks link building so in chance to rank it shows for you here the the the, the percentage of chance to rank in order to, to get a high rank and the relevance score that your article is getting so right now we would like to make a little bit trial tricky thing that we need to test this live mood or writing mood it's really effective or not so let's make a little you know, optimization on this article.
Now I would like to make another change, but let's press in the one word and open the not found so we can use some words from the not found. So we can see if this tool is actually telling me the truth or not. So let's use some words. So for, for example, it tells me here that in my experience, in my experience, the that link can help you rank. And we will add, for example, and so that's to prove to you in reality how content optimizer is a very helpful tool for each and every content writer or even the enterprise which depends on writing and content creation that's all today regarding the content optimizer if you do have any more questions leave it below and thanks see you next video